One of the really cool um, tools I love to reference to and I tell traders about this and it's completely free even though they have a, a premium version is bar chart. Uh, I want to show some things about it right now. So bar chart, you click here on futures which is what we're mostly doing. Uh, first thing for one of my trading buddies um, had a question about this. Here's a great way to find out um, the different exchanges and what is traded at those exchanges. So here at the top we have the board of trade, CME. You got the NYMEX and COMEX. This is our main ones. Obviously, here in the ICE, we have softs. We don't really do softs because it's 100. There's not many spreads to do there long term. Uh, not nothing I'm trading currently right now. We don't do it. Uh, this is a separate data that's about 100, what, 25 buck a month now. I used to do cotton spreads in here just a little bit, a couple of seasons. So here's our major four in the US, COMEX. And, and if you click on them, you'll be able to see. Now, not all of them, like towards the bottom, is going to be anything popular or high liquidity that you're going to want to look at but here you can see a lot of the CBOT has a lot of our agricultural grains so when we're doing soybeans soybean versus wheat corn versus wheat um whatever those um stuff are in the CBOT um the Dow is in the CBOT um, a lot of people confuse this when they're new they feel that all the CME indice products are uh, are all in the CME in other words the S&P futures um, the NASDAQ futures and small cap Russell, which is back in here somewhere. As, uh, wow, NASDAQ water futures, anyway. Um, and, um, but no, the Dow is in a uh, CBOT, okay? Uh, additionally, um, then inside of here, you have uh, CBOT has all the interest rates, okay? So if you're doing any kind of like yield curve at relativity, if you're going to do a tut spread, Bob. Uh, you know, 10s versus uh, 30s, 5s versus 10s, which is a good beginner kind of a, a spread to put on. One one a contract of the 5 and then two of the 10s. Pretty nice uh, tut spread, they call that. So these are CBOT related. You need CBOT data. Okay. Boom. Access that, whatever. And then it goes on. NYMEX, you're going to have uh, generally mostly your energies. And then uh, your metals are going to be in COMEX. So if you're going to do like gold versus silver, something like this. A little bit higher risk trades, uh, liquidity is loose in them both. They price a little different. It gets a little bit more advanced if you're going to do spreads there. So let's move on. This is just we're going to access prices by exchange. Um, all kind of cool things. I mean, I probably won't get it all in one video here, but um, one of the cool things you could do is then you can click one by one on these items. And like, so for example, I'm just going to go to wheat and it's going to take me to this general page here with all the, uh, the uh, curve. Uh, the price structure, uh, the term structure, right, in different calendar months. And then you'll be able to see here by uh, left clicking on um, volume, which is the highest volume uh, months, obviously, here now in July for uh, wheat, right? This is going to be one of the old crop, new crop trades here coming up. But um, keep it simple. You can see and identify and take different months if you wanted to put on a calendar spread. For example, you don't want to take all the risk on from july only then you want to put on maybe a two month wide calendar you can go you know long n versus short d's but you know that that way you verify that there's volume there okay now it's a cool thing you can do if you're real curious what the um, points value is is once you come to this page click down here on contract specs and it's gonna um, it's gonna give you a lot of ads if you don't have the premium account you're gonna have uh this you know really cool like you know what the symbol is what exchange it's exactly on, um, how it trades per tick, the margins, the maintenance currently by the CME, um, how it prices in the contract size. So you take the contract size, you multiply that by their price, and that's how you get your notional value. So 631 and times 5,000, and boom, that's your notional value. So when you're putting on ratios in the future, just remind that this is all you got to do. Very, very simple. Gives you the hours of how it trades, gives you the months it trades. Very cool for free. And then if you want to get a little bit funky with it, you know, say you go and, and by the way, too, they even have spread ideas here. So they could even, they put these spreads on for you. So if you were curious about that July versus uh, December that I was just talking about, that's uh, right here. You can see it's trading at a minus 26. Uh, it's made a one point move today. I mean, literally it's up one point. So like 50 bucks and it has volume in there. Okay. So right now they're trading July, September the most, you see. And it's made about a small move today. It's probably quiet in the grains. But normally these things can move, you know, 5, 6, 10 point. When wheat moves 26 handles and you can't afford that, you can put on a calendar here. And, you know, 5 points is 250 bucks. You know, 
um, versus, you know, deal with all that volatility, deal with all that margining issue. Again, because if you hold these, you're going to get a very big discount also in margin. And some of you guys doing this intraday is going to be a little difficult because these are more of the kind of spreads I talk about that they're, they're swing, uh, swing trades, meaning they could be two to three days only. Or it could be like weeks. It just depends how ripe they are when you get in them. But if you want to chart these things, even you could just click on view the spread chart and here's your spread here. You see, and this is the complete six month spread. You can go one year and you can do this with your intraday markets. I should have started there. This is basically the complete spread, you know, and this is where guys and gals will trade, um, trade these things back into parities. Usually, um, you know, there's different strategies. You could do these reversion of the mean and stuff like that. Again, save that for another type of a video. Let's go here to, um, let's say, you know, the S and P and we want to pull this chart. Well, you just go here to, uh, the, the current month uh, or this, yeah, we moved over to September. Click on this link here, left click, and then just go to, you know, the chart. You can go to even an interactive chart. Now, here's an interactive chart. And you can go, just, you know, zoom in to maybe like this is the last year. Here's your year for this contract. All right. Trading currently at 4430. And then if you wanted to open it up, forgot how to do that. It's been a while. Here we go. Now, check out this. You can have a whole pro chart here. You know what I mean? And you can save these. Even if you open up a free account, you can save literally, you know, um, this information it's going to be on delayed data right because you know that we're not premium member but um really nice chart tools um all kind of stuff you can use like if you know if, even if we were like on a spread and you wanted to measure um cal calculation you know like you can go hey if i took this long from you know i don't know this breakout till here like what is it making me well i'm up let's say um in this you know if i got out whatever here hypothetically I'm sorry, let's let's make this realistic. I can say, okay, if under that swing, so I'm risking 2,600 bucks. Maybe my target was up at this swing up here, and then it gives you my ratio. I mean, really neat. It's just doing everything for me. So, you know, risk 2,600 to make 6,260, you know, whatever. This is a one-year daily ES chart, right, guys? So, um, really cool tools. Um, I mean, I swear, bar chart. I used to contribute for this <laughs> company a long time ago, right? And I stopped. I had, you had to keep doing something over there weekly. Now to contribute in here, you gotta, uh, pay them. And funny because I, it, I felt like I was cheating myself, giving it away for free to begin with. Now it's the other way around. You gotta pay to give information, but hey, it's fine. That's their business. They, they give you a ton of things for free. And then if you get this premiere and, and still, you don't even need to be a premier member to save these. So like, you know, if I'm a, let's go to a, a, a spread. Um, or let's go, just go to my charts and I believe, see if I gotta like, if it remembers me. Log in. Am I in? I'm in apparently. So like my charts. No, that my charts you have to have. Um, alerts. Did I have an alert in here? Well, I had alerts. Let's look at this one. Oh, so you could save still alerts and charts. I think I deleted a lot of this stuff. My watch list. This was like a wheat futures standard spread. And it's an expired spread, so no quote available anymore. Yeah, these are expired. This was a K versus July, so these are expired. Uh, well, sh yeah, because the back or earlier month is done. So if I go and build one, real simple. I don't even have to really build it. I can just say, hey, just get me this spread. Um, you can do butterflies as well. Here's a standard spread, June versus SEP. And I want to open this up and I'm going to go to the interactive chart. And then I'm going to go to this expansion. Okay. Now here's a spread. And, you know, for a long time, because all this crap that was happening over in the Ukraine and all that supply, we were um, in um, a backward aided uh, market. Right now we're kind of back in this contango where prices are under this zero line. A lot of guys trade these. Uh, have strategies to trade these back up into these zeros, these parities levels. So, but you can also I believe the calculator. This was what I wanted to do. Measures these moves too. So if you know you took this swing here, um, does it measure this the spread? Yeah. So you know it's just much more affordable. You know you're risking very little over sixty four bucks to make two hundred bucks. It's like several day swing trade. You know you find the top and bottom of these spreads. Where'd it go? And 
it's, it's it has so many cool tools not to mention some of these other tools like this ATR thing I was using it was a video I was watching from their head educator uh, it helps you understand the daily range of the actual spread itself relative to the uh, the outright you know so you could really see like how it really just the spread slows down the average per day move you know on this particular one they say it could be like a point a day you know uh, if you just measure them versus the amount that this thing can move on the outright it's com could be completely unaffordable thing to trade for you let's see if we could do zn uh, is how exactly doing it 23 should pull up the outright here and um see the atr it's like is it, this is a, about a 20 day rolling atr is about 20 points <laughs> you know so you ask yourself man that could be a thousand dollar every 20 day move um, is that something like, you know, you could afford and then you look at a calendar and then you'll be able to say, hey, look, average 20 day move is X. You know, this is going to be slower for me. I could afford to do that. Um, see if we also calculate this short position down. This leg should be like about a grand um, short down to there into there or something like this. It's even more, you know, but uh, let's do this little grid. See something like this you know whatever you get the gist but it's really like i mean this is a completely for free and you can zoom in um and whatever you draw it'll save it so again remember guys if you're swing trading you come in here once a day and delay data it's not going to hurt you being off a little bit you know what you use to put in your order is you use one of those like uh, boutique you know um specialty uh brokerages to put in your trades like i use uh, stone x trade pro futures here in austin texas and um so you know i just go in there and make a trade once i'm decided which spread i want to put on having delayed data if you're swing trading these it's, it's just fine you're like delayed by 10 minutes or something right so um yeah so i wanted to talk about that and then you know a ton of other things like um you know you can get um, you can get ideas of what kind of spread to look at, for example, you know, like, why would I want to waste my time looking at something that doesn't have volume? So I could just filter through like, hey, why am I looking at something far away? Unless I have an old traditional secret family strategy that I've been putting on for years and years and years, which I don't, then, you know, look at the stuff that has the volume. And so these are calendar spreads, you'd call these because it's the same product, right? These are just straight up basic. These are where all beginners should start, all smaller smaller accounts 10 grand and under five grand and under you know even two grand and under i'm not recommending it but that's i started like that you know you can really afford to trade these without getting your head knocked off and um and you get a nice little experience of it and then uh, before you do anything where you start crossing products right now uh, when we talk about equities i know i talked with a couple of guys about equity spreads um you know look um, inner market intraday it's doable. I've confirmed this with broker friends. Uh, that's you know they've seen a ton of clientele doing it. I've been doing it. I passed it. I passed an Apex Apex trading account. You know doing um, the larger the mini S and P and then the Nasdaq spreading against each other as an actual intraday spread strategy. And um, so uh, in here you're not going to find anything relative information to that because again spreads are traditionally known to be uh, swing trading um, strategies and um, they're really really unique I think you know it's a lot of times when I get to this people ask about my opinion about uh, options options you know they're just they're a lot more expensive to get into I got into spreads because I self discovered it because I was looking for something cost efficient and taking advantage of span margin i don't have to worry about options that are expiring um different kind of like uh, uh, uh theta exposures and stuff like that and different dimensions of options um i can get in much, much cheaper and my cash on cash return <clears throat> on that spread ultimately is higher because what i gain out of the margin i put up is much higher anyway so, yeah, um, this is where I want you guys to go. So, futures, of course, there's a ton of other tools and uh, stuff. Don't don't get lost in the weeds if you're here for the futures. Get very familiar with, you know, how to get in um, the main page. If you want to see, like, which exchanges, uh, what markets are in what exchange, come over here. If you want to go um, um, also get a futures market map during the day, if, like, if, you know, if you're going to spread, you know, now um, you want to kind of find the strongest versus weakest. If you don't have a really expensive tool like Bookmap to put a correlation tracker 
and you can see obviously today if you were um buying the the interest rates in the morning you would buy the, like the 10 you'd be selling the two uh, even though it's still quiet so you got to still chart these you don't just come free willy-nilly and put on these spreads but here's how you would do some stuff in intraday on who's strongest weakest obviously tech led up um, dragging SMP up and a little bit of sell-off onto the small cap and Dow so spread among these two further N ones or usually the um, small cap versus tech is a really really good one it's expensive if you get too heavy in them so if you're starting to sim them do them very small and you can do these on micros <laughs> okay um, anyway a um, lot of unique things so um, and again all the resources are here you can also even get economic calendars here look at that I wasn't even ever looking at this before wow look at that so awesome clean I mean what else can you ask for completely freaking free um, tools okay that you can use um, every day just come in here and just kind of you know get yourself familiarized with it and you can again save stuff um, open a free account um, and things like that and and stuff all right so just wanted to share i think this is a really great tool guys make it part of your uh favorites to put on every day and go through and and get familiar with it if you need information it's a one-stop shop to find out everything you need about what you're trading okay have a good day